A balloon for Isabel. Isabel is a porcupine. Isabel is thinking of a balloon. Isabel drew a picture of her in her red balloon. No fair, said Isabel. Yeah, no fair, said Walter. It was two days before graduation. Porcupines aren't happy, how come? In two days, the possums, the raccoons, and all the other animals would get balloons. But not the porcupines. Why not? And Isabel wanted a balloon more than anything in the whole world. Poor porcupines. <clears throat> Why don't they get to have a balloon? Isabel and Walter are right. That's not fair. Miss Quill smiled patiently. I'm sorry, but balloons are not safe for porcupines. The porcupines will get, will each get a lovely bookmark. But Isabel wants a balloon. But we already have Halloween bookmarks and Valentine's Day bookmarks, and, and soon you will have a lovely graduation bookmark, said Miss Quill. Isabel and Walter sat together at lunch. Can I have your broccoli? asked Walter. I got jelly beans again. I wish my dad owned a candy shop, said Isabel. Isabel gazed out the window. Sally told me that when you first get it, a balloon can bounce on the ceiling. If you pull the string and then let go, it makes a soft thumpy sound, she said. I heard that after a few days, a balloon floats halfway between the ceiling and the floor, said Walter. It just hangs there like a ghost. Then it shrivels up so you can put it in your empty olive jar with your other good stuff, said Isabel. A bookmark just sits there, said Walter. We have to get balloons, said Isabel. I will think of a plan. <laughs>